Hey guys, what's up? It's me, it's here, and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be doing more things to paint part two because you guys really like that video, so I'm gonna do it again. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we are going, I'm going to show you is, so number one is this pen case. So I, this is just a, um, a case of pens I have, and you can paint it. Since I don't really like the stripes, I would paint it and this is just like a pencil case like a plastic one it was so good to paint on so that was number one so number two you can paint a candle so I just have this Christmas candle and I already took the label off so I'm planning on painting it and I'm gonna paint like Christmas stuff because I didn't really like the label so yeah that was number two now number three is another school supply it is white out you could paint like the clear part but not like the part where you can see how much a whiteout is left. So that was number three. Now number four is a flower vase. So you can just paint a flower vase. So this is just a glass flower vase with some plastic flowers and you can paint the vase. Okay, so number five is you can paint a pencil sharpener, which is another school supply. Surprising. <laughs> and I just painted it this really dark pink. So that was number five. Now, number six, you can paint a squishy. This squishy was actually in my squishy, squishies, and more squishies video. So get go check that out if you didn't see it yet. And it is falling apart by the minute. So I might have to fix that. But yeah, that was number six. That was number six. Now number seven is you can paint a magnet. So this is a magnet to my whiteboard and it's really plain so I might have to I might have to paint that but yeah. So that was number seven. Now number eight you can paint um, a golf ball. So I just have this golf ball and you can paint it you know as a display maybe. And okay. So number nine, you can paint the front of a book. So this is um, a old sketchbook because I had it, and you can put like just personalize your cover of like maybe a book or like, even this. Even though it's cardboard, I could still paint on it. So that was number ten. Now number eleven, you can paint a rock. So I just have I just got a rock from my front yard, and I didn't paint the back. I painted the front, and it's like lavender. So number 12, you can paint a shelf. So this is big. So this is just a shelf that I painted and I painted the top of it and I painted the handles and it's full of my craft stuff. So I painted this and it really added a pop of color to my room. So another big thing that we have is, well not really a big thing, we have my, my iPad case. So I painted my iPad case because it was originally just plain purple so I painted it all rainbow kind of colors and I loved it very much okay so number 13 is this frame so you can paint a frame so this frame is just frame is just black so I'm gonna have to paint that because it's just too boring to me so I'll have to paint that but that was number 13 so number 14 is you could paint paper clips. So I painted paper clips and turned it into a wreath and it looks so good. It's like a craft wreath. So if you have like a craft craft room or like you like really like crafts and stuff, this would be perfect. I just glued this all together with hot glue and I've act I hang this in my room and it looks so cute. So that was number 14. Now number 15 is a big item, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, so this is the big item I was talking about. You can paint the like the bottom part of a lamp. So I painted the bottom part of my lamp and I painted it blue, pink, and then purple. And this usually lights my um, videos so it's a little bit dark in here, but it's fine. So this so I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to push that like button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.